This is going to be the Unit 3 overall unit test review. And uh, first section uh, is going to be a no calculator based uh, problems. But before I get to the problems, I'm going to take a second and show you guys um, maybe a different way to look at the unit circle. Hopefully that's pretty well ingrained in your mind. Um, but at this point, I suppose it's maybe a last second shot to help uh, some of you uh, re-emphasize or maybe for some of you uh, for the first time uh, get to memorize that unit circle. So the way I was originally taught, and I've told this to a lot of you guys, but uh, the way I was originally taught how to do the unit circle, I mean, I was given the circle and, and everything, but um, I actually learned it through the table. So if you guys have that gold sheet on the front, if you will, is the unit circle. On the back is a table. Um, that table is way more in depth than I'm going to go to here, but um, just, just kind of as a reference. Um, when I was taught the unit circle, I was told um, create a box or a, a table. And um, I did them in degrees first. So we did, well, I guess I should start. This is zero. Um, but it was uh, make a column of angles, 45, 60, 90. Uh, and then over here, you do your pi over 6, pi over 4, 3. Um, but once you've got that going over the top, uh, you start with sine, and then I'll give some space, cosine, and tangent. And once we had this table, it's actually really, to me, it's really simple. We start with sine of zero is square root of zero, everything's over two. Next one, square root of one over two, square root of two over two, 60 is square root of three over two, square root of four over two. So you just simply go down the line, your denominator is always two, and your numerator starts as the square root of zero and goes to square root one, square root two, three, four, so what you find is, you know, the square root of 0 over 2 is just 0. The square root of 1 over 2 is just a half. The square root 2 over 2 is remains the same. Same thing with square root 3 over 2. But then the square root of 4 over 2 is 2 over 2, or 1. Um, cosine is exactly the opposite. You start at the square root of 4 over 2. And then you work your way down, square root 3, square root of 2, 1, and 0. So this, again, that reduced to 1, square root 3 over 2, square root 2 over 2. That reduced to a half, and that to 0. So to me, that's the easiest way to get the unit circle. Hopefully. Um, hopefully that helps some of you. Um, tangent, um, tangent isn't quite, I guess, quite as easy, but um, there's still a pattern in tangent. So um, tangent, as you know, is sine over cosine, so S over C. Um, and if you take 0 over 1, you get 0. And down here, we have 1 divided by 0, so that doesn't exist, the end. So we have those two filled out. We also can see that when you take one number divided by the same number, you get one. And so really the only hard ones for tangent are these 30 and 60 degree angles. Now, um, what I know, and, and you kind of have to memorize this part, but it's one of them is the square root of 3 over 3, and the other angle is just the square root of 3. The, now... In determining which one goes where, um, the way I've always kind of memorized it was the smaller angle, so 30 versus 60, the smaller angle 30 uh, gets the smaller value, so the square root of 3 over 3. 
So if I have the square root of 3 in both, the, the smaller number is going to be the number where it starts the same, but then it gets divided into thirds. Uh, so tangent of 30 or pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 3, leaving us with pi over 3 or 60 degrees is square root of 3. So the smaller angle gets the smaller number. Like if you punch that number in the calculator, you will get a smaller number here than you will here. So smaller angle, smaller value. The only part that kind of requires the memorization is that your options are the square root of 3 and the square root of 3 divided by 3. Uh, anyways, so that's that's how I first learned the um, trig functions in the unit circle. Now, granted, you could put that into the circle and, you know, put that as pi over 3, uh, sorry, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, so 30, 45, 60 degrees. Um, and I guess in, in terms of that, if we're looking at, you know, what does that look like? It's x comma y. That's the coordinate of this point on the circle. Um, if we're going out to that point, what we're looking at here is a triangle. Right? The triangle whose angle is theta, whose hypotenuse is the radius of the unit circle which is 1. And if you look at theta, we say sine is the opposite. Opposite, so the y value, over 1. So that's why sine is associated with the y value. And cosine is adjacent over 1. And that's why we say cosine is corresponds with the x-coordinate. So again, just a little bit of background. Now we can go back and, and actually solve some of these problems. But uh, you know what? I will actually make this one separate video, and part two will be uh, actually going through the problems.